Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today is going to be a bit of an interesting video. I've never tried this before, but I've got some foot spray and I've got my patter. I want to try and see if the foot spray works on finding out where I'm striking my patter. So it's going to be a good test firstly to know where I'm actually striking it on the patter face. And also I'm going to test how much it affects where the ball ends up depending on where I strike it. Obviously there's a lot of emphasis on ball striking in terms of irons and um, driver and long shots, um, but I haven't seen much about ball striking with a putter. So it's going to be an interesting test um, and one I think which is going to be very beneficial for distance control and obviously um, direction as well. So grab a cup of coffee and let's see if we can uh so first thing I'm going to do is grab the foot spray on the putter face here. I'm just going to spray the whole putter face. So the putter face should all powder up like this. And we're going to hit a few pats and see how much it leaves a mark on it. So we're obviously aiming to try and get center strike for the ultimate distance control. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the putter face here is really frosted over. So it should leave a good mark on exactly where I strike it. Okay, so we have a look closely here. It looks like it's actually slightly heel of center. We have a look at the line there. It's not far off center, but it looks like it's slightly heel. So I'm gonna do a few pats. I'm gonna do five more pats and see if they're all consistently near the middle. Try not to rub it off. Okay, if you have a look here, it's all pretty consistent. Again, I'd say it's probably slightly heel of center. So I'm gonna do a test now where I'm gonna deliberately hit some off the toe and some off the heel. And I'm gonna show you where it's actually come off the patter face. Um, I'm gonna show you how much it affects the distance and also the line as well. So instead of changing my stroke, I'm just gonna dress it more out the heel or more at the toe. This is going to be the heel one first. Really felt the difference in that. And then the toe one. Both of those actually ended up pretty good. I'm going to show you here. So that was the distance in the strike. So the heel one actually comes a bit higher off the face as well. And then the more towards the toe, the lower the strike as well. So on these two, which were pretty short, probably didn't make that much difference. They were both pretty similar. So I'm gonna do a slightly longer pat, see if it makes a bit more difference on the um, distance control and if it makes any difference on the line as well. Okay, well, I've resprayed the putter and I've got about 30 foot putt here. So I'm going to do a couple off the heel, a couple off the toe, and see how much it affects the distance control. Okay, so as you can see from those two, way off the hill, almost off the logo there. Oh, 
So as you can see, the first one I hit there was this one, which felt a lot more towards the sweet spot. And that was much better distance control, much closer. And the second one came a bit lower off the face. So I hope this video has helped guys and shown you the importance of ball striking with your putter. Um, it might be something good to try out just to see where you're striking it consistently. Um, and you can actually really feel the difference between a toe strike, a heel strike and a centre strike. So hopefully you can take some positivity from this um, and hope to hold more putts. But thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.